The B-52s would be featured in the last big chapter of the Vietnam Air War. In 1972, when the Communists launched a big spring offensive, President Nixon resumed heavy bombing of North Vietnam, sending B-52s for the first time over Hanoi and its port of Haiphong. He also ordered the mining of Haiphong Harbor. The bombing was halted a few months later, when peace talks appeared to be making progress. But when the talks bogged down in December, the president ordered the largest air strikes of the war, raids that would go down in history as the Christmas bombings. They were costly to both sides. Last night, a U.S. Air Force B-52 crashed approximately 30 miles north west of Hanoi after sustaining battle damage over North Vietnam. The six crew members are missing. Fifteen B-52s were shot down, along with 11 other American warplanes. North Vietnamese officials proudly displayed the wreckage. But American planes succeeded in dropping 40,000 tons of bombs around Hanoi and Haiphong. Again, many of the B-52s flew from Utapau in Thailand. As it happened, Bob Hope was also there, conducting a Christmas show for the troops. Yes, sir, this is the home of the B-52, and sometimes known as Buff. Big, ugly, friendly fella. Especially when it's not dropping an egg roll on you. <laughs> Television cameras were allowed to film the B-52 crews watching the Christmas show but were not allowed to interview them about the renewed bombing of the North. Off camera, many flyers seemed to approve the heavy air strikes. We should have done it six years ago, said one. The designated targets were military targets, and most of the bombing was accurate. But there were exceptions, and the world took notice. A Swedish reporter, Eric Erickson, described some of the damage. This is Hanoi, a little more than a week after the heavy aerial attacks carried out by B-52s and fighter bombers. I was here in Hanoi two months ago when I returned here a few days ago. It